Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I've been away for a while. I haven't done too many videos lately, but I'm back and we're back with a bang. As you can see in the background, we've got the Jordan 1 lost and found. And today I'm going to put a question out to you guys. What do you think is sneaker of the year? It's that time of the year. Do you think it's the Jordan 1 um, lost and found or do you think it's the Jordan 4 AMM? Um, those are the big, big hype sneakers that have been released so far. I know we've also got the Nike Dunk Lobster coming out from Concepts, but let me know your thoughts on these two and we will take a look at that in this video but before we get into it let's take a closer look at these let's see it I've talked about this previously in the past how much I've been waiting to get my hands on this pair and I finally did I finally got my hands on this pair this amazing pair of Jordan 1's the Jordan 1 lost and found reminiscent to the Chicago colorway the original 1985 pair and this is what they're kind of taking it back to and I think what they've done with this sneaker I think it is amazing uh, very very cool cool concept nostalgia everything the way they've done the box the way they've kind of released it the hype around it it's just crazy. People have waiting all year for this sneaker and it's finally here. It really is finally here and I just love it. Um, but before we do go into it in much more detail, um, I will take you through the detail design colorway. My personal opinion, as I'm sure you already know, materials, the concept behind it, of course, my on fruit review at the end. But we'll also talk about kind of my thoughts on what I think is sneaker of the year so far. So in terms of the kind of the sneakers that have dropped and we're also going to the Lobster, the Night Dunk Lobster by Concept. So let's get into this. So I think first things first with these, I think the box definitely needs a special mention. And how can I not take you guys through it? So here we go. We've got the box. So they've taken it back to kind of original colouring, what you would have seen on kind of an original pair. Um, in 1995, you would have seen something like, like 1985, you would have seen something just like this. And um, you can see that kind of that orange box, orange colouring at the top of the box. You can see as we go, you'll see more of the wear and tear as we move around. So you, as you can see on the side here, you see a standard Jordan 1 box we see these days. But you've got, as we go along, you can see wear and tear everywhere. So you see on the edges, you see kind of a close up to that Nike swoosh and Nike logo there at the front. As we go around, through the bottom, and that's that wear and tear. And it's very, very cool. It's almost like this box has been sitting, sitting in someone's cupboard, sitting in shelves, sitting kind of in storage for years and years and years. What you've got here, you've also got sell stickers on the side, which I really, really love. We've almost got one with a price underneath, and then a sell sticker just on top of that. As we go into it, we've got almost like kind of like newspaper articles, cutouts of different articles that make the paper in the inside. So it's very, very cool. And all bits and pieces there, as we can see here as well. My favorite part of what comes with this sneaker and what comes with the box is this sales receipt so it's almost like a handwritten sales receipt you can see there it just takes you back this is something you would have got when you bought a pair in 1985 the original pair of these the original chicago colorway and it's just something cool it's very much nostalgia just every little dream that a collector would want every little kind of bit of detail that a collector is going to want they're all going to want to see something like that and i just think it's amazing if you guys are kind of tuned into the channel in the past you will know that i love a special box with a collaboration i always talk about that always talk about collaborations having a special box having kind of just something out of the ordinary and i think this has really kind of hit the nail on the head i think prior to the lead the lead up of these coming out people want these things even more just because of the box the kind of sales stick on the side the original pricing on there and um, that sales receipt it's just something literally this just that like, kind of spits out collector's item and that's what this is it is really kind of not none other than a great sneaker, but it's also a collector's item. It's also one of them ones. It's almost one of them ones where you want you definitely want to rock one and you want to stock one, right? You want that clean pair that you haven't touched. And I really haven't walked out of the house in these yet because I just love them. I don't want to ruin them. I literally wish I could have had another pair where I could just literally keep them in the cupboard, wear this pair, and then whereas they got worn out, or just literally enjoy them and then leave the other one in the cupboard for one day if I wanted to, or just have that fresh pair of these because they're just so nice. They literally are so so nice. Um, I think they've done everything right with these, if I'm honest with you. Um, really, they've done a, kind of a lot right with these. Um, not much that I would change. I mean, in terms of kind of the shoe, so we'll look at it. So as usual, the standard Chicago colorway, you've got um, the red outer, the red kind of along the mud guard at the front. 
heel tab as well, kind of the heel um, bit along the collar here. And then you've got internally, in terms of kind of the toe box, you've got your white leather. Um, in the mid axis here, you've got the white leather as we go through to the back. You've got a kind of, I guess you'd call it a white or an, an aged kind of cell um, midsole. And a red outsole, which is aged and very, very cool too. It looks like it's been kind of sitting in dust. It looks like it's been unworn. Sitting there for years, it looks a lot older than it is. Um, as we go through to the cushioning, there's a little accent here and at the back. You've got kind of uh, the color that you'd always see black. It is like cracked, which is very cool. It's like cracked kind of style in there, as if it was sitting for years and years and years. As if you, as if you took a kind of 1985 pair, you just kind of took them out of the cupboard, and this is what it would look like. So I like that. I think it's very cool. What I didn't talk about, kind of in terms of the leather. So the red leather is very smooth, it's nice. Um, the white leather is almost kind of, it's cracked, not as cracked as you see kind of on the heel right there, kind of like the cushioning part of the back. So it's a little bit cracked. And I'll show you a little bit of a zoom in there so you can just see a little bit what I'm talking about. Um, and I like it, I think it's cracked not too much. Um, I am worried about kind of wearing these in the toe box and seeing how it goes and how kind of the sneak holds up, but hopefully they hold up well. And I'll show you guys the on feet at the end, obviously, so you see that. And um, you've got the Jordan wings there. Um, in black as well, so very very similar to what you'd have in a kind of standard Chicago color, which I think is cool. And you've got that nylon tongue as well. I love a nylon tongue, um, and that red Nike Air logo at the top. So very very cool. They're a comfortable sneaker. I find Jordan ones comfortable anyway. Um, but I just think what they've done is just crazy. Like literally, I'm so gas talking about it. Literally, uh, we also get so I wish there was a sell pair of laces, but you don't. You get. You get the white laces, you also get the black laces, you can change it up. I myself will be buying a cell pair of laces to go with these, just because I think it would fit lovely. Um, in terms of sizing, I go with my standard size on these um, to, to kind of stop creasing due to the leather, especially this cracked toe box. Um, I would definitely wear crease shields with these. It would just make your life easier. You don't have to worry too much about kind of ruining these when you're wearing them, when you're going out um, and kind of aging them even more and wearing them out. So definitely think about investing in a free shield for these 100%. Um, moving on to kind of pricing. Um, pricing, I say pricing's where it should be. I mean, 165 pounds, I think kind of Jordan's at that price anyway now. Um, the fact that you've got the extra little bits in the box and a kind of change box, an amended box, a special box. Um, I think the pricing isn't too bad here. I think Jordan ones are overpriced anyway, but with this, the quality of the level, everything, I love it. Um, I think it's well priced. Um, in terms of kind of what we've seen, a lot of people saying there's issues with a few of the batches. So quality control is not the best. Uh, my pair has a bit of um, kind of a bit of red dye from the leather, kind of running into the toe box on one of the shoes. You probably can't see it here, um, but that's an unfortunate. Um, but that doesn't matter. I'm, I'm more than happy. I would never be giving them back. You definitely want to keep this pair. Um, it's amazing, right? Um, so that. But what people have seen is the same kind of. They're seeing their pairs, this bit at the back here, the kind of heel cushion. Um, they're saying that they're kind of getting moldy ones, so there's moldy pairs going around. So just be careful kind of when you are picking your pairs up, if you're still picking them up for collection and stuff like that. Um, and if you are kind of getting them delivered, do speak to the retailers, they may replace them for you. But obviously I know it's not likely just given the kind of how popular sneaker is, they sold out and, and they probably haven't got too many other pairs. Um, but yeah, kind of size and everything else is standard and the same with a sneaker um but keen to hear your thoughts i keen to hear what you guys think i know a lot of people are saying kind of are oh, not as nice as the kind of the originals or the other kind of chicago colors i myself think these in hand are a lot better than i thought they were going to be i was worried about the crack lever in the um at the toe box at the front it's not as bad as, as you think kind of when you see it in pictures and videos and stuff is it looks more kind of cracked than it is it's not i think they will hold up i hope um but kind of wear and tear and kind of wear will tell but um, I think they are very, very cool. Um, moving on to kind of what I said earlier in terms of my shoe of the year. So for me, kind of the question and the answer is for me, it is definitely these, the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. Um, it's a sneaker that I've been waiting for for a while. I haven't got my hands on kind of the older pairs. Um, they're very, very hard to get and to buy and resale, which is crazy prices. I think the two, 2015 pair go well over a thousand pounds for kind of the larger sizes, um, kind of like seven, eight upwards. Um, and, and they're just a lot of money, kind of heading over a thousand pounds is quite a lot. Either 200, 2013 pair, I think they go for about kind of six, seven hundred and, and upwards. So it's very, very hard to get a pair at a reasonable price. So for me, I'm very, very happy with these. 
Um, it's a pen I wanted since the beginning of the year, or whenever the kind of information came out about these being released. Uh, I can't believe I managed to get my pair. Um, shout out to any pro for in store win on these. Very, very happy about that. Thank you very much. Um, but in terms of kind of a pair that I didn't get my hands off on hold of and um, was that um, Jordan 4 AMMs. Um, very, very cool collab. All the collabs I've done with Jordan are very, very cool. Um, I love it. I love the colouring. I hear the material is amazing. I haven't had them in hand as of yet. Um, didn't manage to get my hands on those, but they are very, very cool. But for me, I think the fact that the nostalgia behind this, the classic concept, the kind of being kind of an original that they brought back, I just think kind of being a fan of kind of basketball, Michael Jordan and everything he stands for, I just think this, for me, you can't kind of beat this as a sneaker of the year. Um, but another contender coming out as well is what everyone loves is the kind of the Nike Dunk Lobster and the kind of, that kind of orange colorway um, by Concepts. It is very, very cool. If I get my hands on that, I will be gassed. Um, definitely a pair you kind of, you keep in the collection and you keep as fresh as possible. Um, kind of instant kind of collectors, I'm instant special sneaker kind of, there's not going to be a lot of them made. Um, they're just very, very cool and I just like the concept behind them. Funny I said that, but concepts, but um, they are very cool. So. I know for a lot of people, those may be sneaker of the year. Um, but let's see, kind of let me know your comments. Drop some comments in the comments box. Let me know what do you think is sneaker of the year? Is he yet to release? Uh, maybe it's even a Travis Scott Phantom to come out. Um, J1 Phantom, let me know. Um, keen to hear in the comments box. But this is definitely mine. It's perfect. I love the colouring. Perfect for Christmas Day as well. Please show you that kind of red, white and black to wear on Christmas Day. I think it's the perfect sneaker. And I'm sure a lot, a lot of people will be doing the same. Um, and a lot of people will probably be getting these as a Christmas present. I think they are amazing. Um, but yeah, so but I guess uh, moving on to pricing, which we haven't talked about, and kind of kind of what I think we will get to. So they were one six five. Um, I think prior to them actually releasing in most places, like kind of when the exclusive access released um, on the sneakers app in the UK and Europe, um, I think they were kind of hitting like kind of just below two fifty, two fifty, depending on kind of sizing, especially my size, kind of eight eight and a half. Um, as time went on, they started to get closer to kind of 275, then 300, then larger sizes like 9, 10, 11, started to hit a kind of like 350 mark. Um, I think they're kind of still around that. They're still in slower now, I believe, kind of looking at StockX and stuff. And we show you StockX here, kind of where things have gone and where the market's evolved. Um, but they've kind of steadied. They've hit that mark and they've steadied. They haven't dropped. So they kind of went up. When they actually fully released on the Saturday and kind of more sites released, people want to pick up their pairs. The market did continue to increase on the Saturday, um, I think it was the 19th, and then even into the Sunday, it started to keep increasing and, and get to that 350 mark. I think they're steadied right now. I do think as we get through the next month into December and near to Christmas, people wanting pairs, um, trying to pick them up as quick as possible, as soon as possible. I do think we'll hit that kind of 400 mark. Um, and I do think in the next six to 12 months and beyond, we will see them go above 500 pounds, but it's just going to be slow and steady um, along the way. So. If you do want to hold these and you've got kind of old pairs and you want to get rid of one maybe or you just don't want to keep them for yourselves, I would say, and you're not in a rush, you probably can weigh it out and probably get to that kind of above 400, 500 mark. Uh, but it may take some time. It may take some time to get there. But nonetheless, an amazing pair. I won't be saying mine. I love them. Um, and I hope you guys feel the same. But with that out of the way, let's go check out on three of you. <laughs> the Jordan 1 lost and found um, amazing sneaker very very cool uh, I told you my thoughts I told you, uh, you've seen what they're gonna look like on feet you've seen them close up let me know what you think did you manage to get your pair um, will you be getting them what do you think on kind of the resale price anything let me know your thoughts and of course what's your thoughts on sneaker of the year has it dropped yet is it still to drop keen to hear your thoughts but for now take care. <laughs> 